Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to look at how to counter assassins in the preseason. Probably one of the most talked about things is how strong assassins are, but I'm not sure if they're really that strong or whether we're just making this a lot, lot worse for ourselves. We're not doing ourselves any favors. Now, we have had a change in the meta, obviously, from last season and from the last six months. We have a lot of bad habits that we have to fix, especially for AD carry players. Assassins are going to do more damage in the game right now, but ultimately we have to understand why they're doing more damage so that we can counter it. It's because of their arm pen. That is why so if we can fix that we can fix assassins being such a big problem now i don't mind playing ad right now and these are the things that i'm using to try and actually go against assassins fix number one buy an injured tabby so stop buying berserker greaves every single game buy an injured tabby for your booties against ad assassins it's a massive 30 armor and blocks 10 percent of their basic attack damage as well so if a zed had a ghost blade and a dust blade for example at level 12 Tabby is going to cancel out all of the lethality and the arm penetration on that except four, which is massive. This actually reduces his auto attacks, his abilities, even Duskblade proc, even Electrocute and Dark Harvest if he's taking that. If you're dying to AD Assassins and you don't buy Ninja Tabby, it's honestly your own fault. You cannot complain. This game is different to last season. You cannot go full damage on AD carries now every single game. Fix number two, runes. We're all running full damage runes right now. It's the equivalent of running a full AD and attack speed page last season, right? It's more fun. It's pre-season. It's great. But then if you're getting boned, you can't really complain too much about it. I honestly feel like taking full damage runes and buying Ninja Tabby is probably the best combination, but you can get some runes for it. Sorcery can take Nullifying Orb, which is actually really good. Probably the most legit versus AP Assassins. It's so cool. You can take Gathering Storm as your second one in that tree, so it's still pretty good. Resolve is way more defensive, but you can take Conditioning, which is 8 Armor and 8 Magic Resist, plus a 5% increase as well. So this will cancel out Sun Impact's penetration, and you will stop dying to Assassins, especially with Ninja Tabby on top of this. I actually quite like it, especially with Second Wind. It's really good. It's like another Doran Shield. It's really cool, uh, but it does give you less damage overall. Fix number three, take Barrier instead. Heal Support and Barrier AD Carry is actually still really, really strong. Now, obviously, Exhaust is really good versus Assassins, but Barrier Shields for a lot more than Heal does, and it's really good for the lane phase as well. Assassins take Ignite, okay? So they cut the heal amount by 40%. As an example, if Zed ignites you and then does his combo properly, uh, a level 11 heal would give you about 144 health, and that's it. Whereas Barrier would give you 315 of a shield, which is over double and can make a big difference if you use it to block some damage on an assassin. Fix number four, Stopwatch. A new item this season. This is a one-time use though. It is 600 gold. If you think you might be able to outplay or you're ahead, it's a really uh, good pickup actually. It will almost always let you win a fight one time because they're going to jump in. They'll think they can kill you. They won't realize you have this. Nobody presses tab anyway. They're going to use all their cooldowns trying to kill you and then you're not going to die, which means you're probably going to win the fight. It is a dead item after this though. A dead inventory spot so you can't like... Well, you can sell it, I guess, but then it's a waste of gold. You can upgrade it into your Guardian Angel later, so it's a Band-Aid fix for this more than anything else. It would honestly be best when you're ahead, when you can spare the gold. You don't need your gold for uh, damage, and you don't want to get blown up by the enemy fed assassin and throw the game. Fix number five is an earlier defensive item, much more viable in this preseason than it was last season. It's also if stopwatch is not enough. A bit different than in Tabby, because it doesn't cost that much. Like, it's just booties. But if you're getting burst every fight non-stop, then you probably want to get a defensive item, right? After two offensive items, this is viable, I think. Don't get it before then because you'll suck. So no, like, Essence Reaver into Guy and Angel on Ash or anything. Keystones are so good and they do so much more damage this season. That is actually why we can get away with this and it can be pretty good still. So last season, not so much. This season, I think if you have to, you can do. More Mammortius will be good for AP, Guy and Angel for AD. We don't really have any really good options against AD Assassins right now except GA. They both let you survive and you have to remember sometimes it's just our job to survive a fight, right? Not to deal with the highest damage possible. So yes, you lose damage. Yes, pro players probably won't do this but if you want to survive in your games, you might have to. Fix number six is going to be Frozen Mallet. I really like this option, honestly. It's uh, better in preseason, I think, because the Keystones as well doing more damage. It uh, can be really good for kiting though. So you actually avoid damage more than just like not take as much when they hit you. Uh, it's a lot of health Health, which is especially good when they have a mix of AD and AP. So for example, like if you have a Zed mid lane and Evelyn in the jungle, if you buy more Mammortis for the Evelyn, Zed is going to kill you. But Frozen Mallet gives you a lot of health and kiting and stuff, so it helps uh, against both of them. It's kind of a good like middle of the pack item. That should help you play against Assassins. It's things that have worked for seasons, but it's especially important right now in preseason because everyone's playing them and they are just a bit stronger, honestly, so you do need to build a bit more defensively. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching until the very end, but for now, I'll leave you with the robots.